With Crusading Kings, Weird Wests, and one particularly tiny Tina, March 2022 is shaping up to be another killer lineup. And without further ado, here's why. To start things off, let's hoist the anchor with FAR, changing tides, which will be floating over in our direction on the very 1st of March. Just don't expect it to be all smooth sailing from here on. FAR takes place in a ruined world where a young boy must make his way across its stormy seas and great open waters in search of a new home. The vast vistas which you will be gliding across are routinely gorgeous, especially in 4K on the Xbox Series X even if their mysterious emptiness does make them a little lonely. The game itself is essentially a platformer maintenance sim hybrid, where you'll spend most of your time scampering around your ship, pulling levers, raising sails, and generally doing whatever it takes to keep yourself afloat. It's hard work, but it always comes with the promise of a beautiful new area to explore, as long as you keep things chugging on for another nautical mile or two. Keep a firm hand on those sails though, since things are gonna get seriously choppy with Shadow Warrior 3 arriving on March 1st, courtesy of Devolver Digital, the studio behind recent hits like Death's Door, Carrion, and My Friend Pedro. Playing as a mercenary named Lo Wang, this first-person actioner sees you shooting and slashing your way across neo-feudal Japan in pursuit of an ancient dragon. Since its unique settings mixes up myth, history, and modern-day tech, Shadow Warrior 3 gives you all kinds of retro-futuristic weapons to play with, from a hand-cranked firework launcher to elementally augmented machine guns and a good old-fashioned katana to finish the job with. Basically, if you were enjoying Dying Light 2's fleet-footed first-person gameplay and thought, mm, if only this was all much more absurd, then Shadow Warrior 3 is absolutely the game for you. Also on the 1st of March, drop something a little more glitzy in nature. Gamers love a good cosmetic item to help them express themselves, which is why Xbox are teaming up with nail polish aficionados OPI this March, because your digital self shouldn't get to have all the fun. OPI's Xbox collection launches on March 1st in the UK and boasts 12 gorgeous shades all with Xbox-centric names like You Had Me At Halo and The Pass Is Always Greener. So you'll have some sweet nails and a fun thing to say when someone inevitably compliments them. And if you keep an eye on OPI's TikTok and Instagram channels, things might get even better with the chance to win a controller to match your favourite shade and some awesome in-game content for Forza Horizon 5 and Halo Infinite in the pipeline. OPI have done a really incredible job here. In fact, you could say they nailed it. Of its many shortcomings, one of the worst things about 2021 was definitely the fact that it left us without a WWE game. What are we supposed to do? Not hit each other over the head with steel chairs for 12 whole months? Fortunately, WWE 2K22 is coming straight off the top rope on March 11th to put things right. This year's roster is stacked with current superstars and old school legends. You can take to the skies with Rey Mysterio, manhandle your opponents with Becky Lynch, or call Mr. Johnson back from Hollywood to lay the smack down, just like he used to. With two distinct My Rise campaigns to play through, a robust creation suite to assemble your own spandex-clad alter ego in, and the most realistic visuals the series has ever seen, WWE 2K22 is going straight for the championship belt. If that all sounds a bit hard-edged and gritty for your taste, how about a game where you play as an adorable cartoon fox? Look at him, he's got a little sword and everything. But while you might think that Tunic is taking all of its cues from a certain other fantastical adventure series involving timely ocarinas, woke wind and breathy wilds, it's actually harboring quite a dark soul beneath its colourful surface with stamina bars and dodge rolls that will make ROM software fans feel immediately at home. It's a winning combination, giving you a lush, vibrant world to adventure through and filling it with just enough peril to ensure that you watch where you step. So if you're still knees deep in Elden Ring by the time March 16th comes around and in need of a slightly sweeter souls like, Tunic might just be the tonic. Lovers of retro gaming and fantasy adventures have even more to look forward to on the 18th when Stranger of Paradise Final Fantasy Origin arrives. Square Enix's latest RPG will take us back to the place it all began and let players hack, slash, and cast their way through the setting of the very first Final Fantasy game once again. But this is no simple remake. Instead, Stranger of Paradise stars a collection of new characters who are drawn there from another world. 
and it seems like no one told them about the local custom of standing still in battle and waiting patiently for your turn to attack either. Stranger of Paradise is an action-packed affair featuring visceral, real-time combat. Altogether, Stranger of Paradise Final Fantasy Origin looks like a fascinating way to remix a classic. Tiny Tina is kind of like the Saul Goodman of the Borderlands world. Not just in the fact that she has very few models and a lot of very dangerous friends, but because she's a character so popular that she needs a whole spin-off to herself. Tiny Tina's Wonderland takes place inside a Dungeons & Dragons style game, being run by the titular tween. That means a lot more skeleton warriors and magic spells than you might be used to in a Borderlands game, as well as a greater emphasis on RPG elements like hero stats. But with all the exhilarating FPS action and irreverent humour that you've come to expect. For example, there's a character named Butt Stallion. It's bound to be one heck of an adventure and since the whole thing is being made up on the fly by Tina herself, you can expect all sorts of impossible boss fights, ridiculous story twists and errant cheese snacks to appear along the way. Yeah, there was no way we were getting through the month without a couple of major additions to Xbox Game Pass. Sorry, that's just not how we roll. If you're an Xbox Series X and S gamer who loves nothing more than a good bit of gossip, then prick up your ears. We've heard it through the grapevine that Crusader Kings 3 is coming to next-gen consoles on the 29th. Like many a kingdom-building strategy game, Crusader Kings lets you take control of a budding nation and lead them as best as you can out on the world stage. Except this time, you get to make use of all sorts of nefarious tactics, starting rumours, spreading lies, blackmailing your enemies, blackmailing your allies, and just doing whatever it takes to gain the upper hand. The palace intrigue only becomes more, well, intriguing, as the decades pass and you get to see how your choices have played out in the long run. Sure, you didn't intend for the Republic of Ireland to become a world-conquering cannibalistic matriarchy, but sometimes that's just how it goes. Built for Xbox consoles from the ground up, Crusader Kings 3 will make it easier than ever to rule with a gamepad, and it takes full advantage of next-gen hardware. So, Xbox Series X and S gamers can expect to bounce between handy YouTube tutorials and the game itself in the blink of an eye. And joining that on Xbox Game Pass two days later is Weird West, Devolver Digital's isometric action RPG that puts a supernatural slant on the world of saloons and six shooters. The whole game takes place in a sandbox environment which has been designed to be highly responsive to your actions. Shoot a crate of ammo and it'll blow up. Shoot a person and, yeah, as expected, they won't like you very much anymore. It's up to you whether you want to make your way quietly through the shadows, blast everyone in sight, or transform into a werewolf and tear the whole place to shreds. But while life might be cheap out in the Old West, you'll still pay a price for any action you take. The consequences are permanent and may have profound effect on how your story plays out. So no two players will experience the exact same version of the game, although you can bet that all of them will be mightily weird. Like every other month, March will see a whole bunch of amazing titles arriving on Xbox Game Pass. So be sure to subscribe and ring the bell for all the latest announcements right here on Xbox On. But one major title that we know will be grooving on into the service this month is Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy, which arrives on March 10th. This spacey third-person shooter lets you take point as Star-Lord, giving orders to the rest of the crew while you rocket around blasting bad guys. With a soundtrack full of bangers, a script full of zingers, and a gorgeous ray tracing mode on the Xbox Series X, this is a comic book adventure of truly galactic proportions. As well as all these incredibly shiny new games for you to enjoy, March also kicks off new seasons in some of the biggest titles on the market. The month begins with Microsoft Flight Simulator coming to the cloud, meaning Xbox Game Pass Ultimate members won't be stuck on the tarmac while the game downloads. And the very first famous flyer has also swept in, so you can check out Beechcraft's Model 17 Staggerwing the next time you take flight. On the 8th, Dead by Daylight will be getting even spookier with its brand new chapter, Sadako Rising. Inspired by legendary horror movie The Ring, this chapter will see a mop-headed monster called the Onryo clambering out of our TVs to hunt us down. In decidedly less frightening news, Sea of Thieves will also be cracking a champagne bottle on the side of its sixth season on March 10th. The new voyage will add in sea forts, which are raid-like challenges that can also be taken on solo, as well as a series of story-centric missions called Adventures. Nice. 
That's about it for March, at least as far as we know. Each month brings its own set of awesome surprises, so be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be the first to know about all things Xbox when it drops. Let us know which games are at the top of your to-do list this month in the comments too. Bye!